Whoa, look at that. Sean and Cody. Yep, we're going to be seeing a Falcon versus Peach. Peach. Another Peach. Hello. Oh, they're just waiting for us? Oh, okay. That's so considerate. Thanks, guys. We're just chilling. So we're going over to PS2. All right, all right. So anyway, we're going to PS2, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, and actually, we have we have the information here. Cody actually took it over uh, Ubel. Over Ubel? Yeah. Oh, and it sounds like it over Truman. Okay. Thanks. All right. So let's see what this game one looks like right now. Cody starting off with those down tilts, not able to get too much out of it just yet. Just a little bit out of range was Sean fighting his way through with the forward air. With oh grab, my goodness. That's a combo. That is a combo I've never seen with a piece before. Wow. That was amazing. I'm, I'm loving these, like, like. Great use of the grab. That was actually the, uh, the best option for Cody right there because of the, uh, you know, the Raptor Boost having that super armor. So it got Co it got Cody that uh, stage safety advantage that he needed. But right now, Sean is looking in the driver's seat. Oh, but just shielding the ledge, Cody's able to roll right through. And now the first uh, stock pretty much going to Cody. Sean has a stock deficit, but no, Falcon taking it into Cody, into the Dark back air, and making this game pretty much back to even. Yeah, right back to even. 0% on both sides on this second stock. Cody looking for those down airs. Gets it oh down tilt instead, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And you're taking like 50 for it. Almost 60, and racking up the as we, percentage as we speak. I think I've never seen her hip thrust go that fast. The Toad! The Toad, toad coming in! No, no you're Toad! Lying. Toad! Judas! J Judas, no! Todd. Todd. Big Todd moments. Todd moment. Todd moment real. Nah, that was actually good. Because they were basically at 0%. Basically. Yeah. yeah, I think Cody was at maybe 40. Literally. And just wasn't able to recover after the after the Toad. And toad, now, how dare you? <laughs> now Sean taking it to the bank, already getting Cody up to 73. Cody not able to find a kill off of the down tilt now. Sean at two high percentages. Jab's going to be putting Cody Fucking off kick. stage. Fucking punch. Come on, do it so bad. And there we go. And it's safer back, yep. Much safer to do, but I want to see a flashy drop down back and punch. <laughs> yeah, it would be really uh, funny. Cody waited a little bit too long to recover there, uh, and just the slow recovery of the, the parasol gave Sean all the time in the world that he needed to land that back air. And that was just really unfortunate for Cody, uh, that second stock, that like, he unfortunately did lose due to parasol and Toad! <laughs> toad! Take a toad! Right here. It was amazing At play, two? and then... Bye. At two, today. At two. <laughs> At two, Brutes. Rest in peace, Julius Caesar. Two, <laughs> one, Did you say rest in peace? I said rest in peace, Julius Caesar. You deserved it. <laughs> March 15, baby. <laughs> All right. But the good thing about Cody coming into this game two right now is because, you know, he was looking really good in that game one, and he, you could make the argument that game one was lost to, you know, kind of a cheesy, jank interaction. Yeah, you, you could definitely say that. So, you know, assuming Cody is not, you know, shaken by that, he's coming in look, looking really good in this game too, but as I say that, Sean, he's got bomb. It's gone. There goes bomb. It would be really, really, really good for Cody having it with you in the way that he really wants to. Damn, that, that's coming out really fast. Yeah, it's Peach back here. Yeah, Peach back here go crazy. Ooh, ooh. A little bit of a turn of hit. Cody playing things safe, not looking for any explosive edge guards right there. Even though he was able to get those turnips and now Sean back in center stage. Yeah, Sean has using using this Nashville uh, middle platform amazingly. It's catching Cody as much as he can and using it. And John Sean's using that Falcon kick, that Falcon uh, back air. I mean, uh, not back air, up air to kind of jump him in that little situation over and over again, getting 50 percent extra credit for himself. So just in case he loses the stock right now. Wow, you're crazy. Actually, it was a pretty safe option. Yeah, up he has shield, great drift. It's got great drift and it's got disgusting range, like way more than you would think. 
Ooh, not getting the O-Snatch that he wanted, but at least getting the grab and the upbeat twice in a row. And he's able to uh, react and turn it around, as we saw right there. Uh, this is a complete game changer from game one. We saw how much Koei had dominated the scene until, of course, that unfortunate uh, Parasol. Great. Great catching up. Like, Cody has been a lot of catching up to do because you have 136%. Anything that Falcon pretty much hits with against Peach is gonna be game for Cody, and that first luck, that last luck is not, is not gonna be fun to play around with. But, I mean, we've seen Cody able to pull off these really flashy Peach combos. That was so close. The knee. Do it again. The neutral air is all it takes. And things have kind of looked grim for Cody in this game, too, but it's not. As the lead isn't as bad as it looks, you know, Sean is getting to those red percentages on his second stock, but wow, what an up smash. Ooh, and you don't want to do it fucking, uh, with Captain Falcon with Rage, honestly. You want to get in, out, and take that stock as fast as you can, because you are once, uh, you are at 76%, and Sean has Rage and Captain Falcon, honestly. Ooh, missing That was such a good delay by Sean to avoid the, um, to avoid the down throw turn up. Oh, these little interactions kind of just being a little, a little bit of pressure against each other for a little bit. Great turnaround grab in order to get Cody. I was expecting like some insane deep edge guard from Sean right there. Oh, is that a stitch? That is a stitch. Oh, hi, stitch. Cody realizing it just in time, but it is thrown away. There you go. I gotta say, I. Uh, Peach's RNG, you know, getting things like Bond and Stitch Face, it activates like the same endorphins that like Goofy Hero stuff does. <laughs> yeah, when I see Peach get Bomb, oh my god, it's over. I'm just like, there's no way. Oh, ooh, oh, oh, oh! <gasps> oh another bomb! Oh, okay. oh you're, you got bombed twice in the game, that's crazy. I understand why Cody throws it away. I understand why all Peach players throw it away, because bomb, having a bomb in hand is a liability. Really? Yeah, because it can blow you up just as bad. Oh. And you gotta you got, you got, you got rest that fast, because uh, it comes up and you're like, oh, there's a bomb in my hands and not <laughs> yeah. like a stitch or anything. But like, I wish Peach has used it more. So just to give some extra information on the bomb. Are you are you not muted? I unmuted myself. Good. Just making sure. <laughs> uh, when Peach has that bomb in her hand, the hurt box is still active, so it can just blow up in her hand. Yep. If you yeah. hit her. Yeah. But she can sort of take advantage of that by just... If you're a kill percent and she's not, she could just run up to you and shield. <laughs> and that's evil. That's like, yo, hit me. I know you want to. Ooh. Also, as of ultimate, uh, you don't get hurt by your own throw and explosive item. So Peach can actually, like, down throw it at her feet and she doesn't get hurt. Really? Oh, I, I did that. not know that. Yeah. It sucks for casual play. <laughs> it sucks for casual I miss casual explosives thing. being risky. But no, she could try to throw... I think he was trying to hit him, but I'm not yeah. going to comment because I am not the commentator. Ooh, but you could be, ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh true. Die. No. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to give you the uh, game mechanics. So you always heard numbers threatening me, right? <laughs> I didn't threaten anything. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding.